happy Mama Day to everyone that is paying attention watching hey. the show today. I tried getting you a gift today on Mamba Day. I don't think it came through, but I will definitely post it on Twitter when it does come through. Which is so cool. Yeah, I, I showed it to... Wait, hold up. Did it go through? <gasps> Did you get it? No, I didn't. Oh! Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome to Cameo. You're only three steps away from getting a Cameo Pro. So, oh, no, it's, it's just a uh, spam email. I've got, I've got a Cameo before, and it's just like spam email. That's right. you. Pretty much it's Cameo. Ah, surprise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ta-da. So if you watch pro wrestling, uh, you would know a guy from a few years ago named Aiden English who would come out and sing uh, one of the re- like wrestlers, pretty much his slogan. So it's Rusev Day. And then yeah. Aiden English would come out and be like, it's Rusev Day. Day. Sing it. Come on. It's Rusev Day. <laughs> You're such a baritone. Um, I, I pretty much... As Tim requests on Cameo, I was like, hey, today is my friend Mark's favorite player's day, Mamba Aww. Day. And I'm just wondering if you could just do a rendition of, like, you know, your old pal Rusev and instead say Mamba in it. So it would be like, it's Mamba Day. I, 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 was, I, I imagine it in my head when he, when he told me that. I was like, dude, I, I, that's, that's, that would be so great. That should be played, like, by everybody. And I, I wish everyone thought of you had the same mindset as you did because that's a genius idea. Like, and, well, you, you know what? What made I, you think of that? I paid forty dollars for it. Oh, and okay. of course I'm gonna freaking reach the towel like it is, right? Like I'm just gonna like yeah. if it's a wet towel, I'm gonna get every freaking juice out of it. Yeah. I would have Mike play it practically every day. Yeah, and that would be well. Once we get, and so I'm so excited. Like once we get that video, of course it's gonna be played every episode from We're now like, on. Oh wait, what's what's, what's today? <laughs> you know what today what's is? Today? And he could be hitting. He's like, it's, it's Mama, Mama Day. day. <laughs> I cannot wait for that. Yeah, I've been so excited. I'm telling you, I literally like recorded. I even texted you back. I hit record and I, I recorded me going, "Oh my god!" Because <laughs> I, I was like, I was driving too, but <laughs> but I'm doing, I'm so pumped. So hopefully we get that. Hopefully we have it for next show, uh, and we can celebrate every time the Lakers win. Yeah, that would be awesome. We, with every Lakers, every Lakers win here from here moving forward. Every time the Lakers win, that day is declared a Mamba Day. Mamba Day. I mean, Mama practically, Day. Kobe does occupy at least five holidays. In a yeah, yeah. he has well, he has Mamba Day, yeah. which is today, Kobe's last game. Then he has Kobe Bryant Day, eight twenty four, mm-hmm. and then he has his birthday, you know, eight twenty three. Yeah, and then uh, what was the other one? I know he has probably one more. Uh, his death day, unfortunately. Um, uh, yeah, a day. A day of remembrance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of celebrating his life. So that's four right there. Damn. Uh, what about the day he get he got drafted? Yeah, you can. Oh, I no, guess. no, no. Kobe's eighty one day. Kobe's eighty one. Oh yeah, Kobe's uh, yep. Eighty one. Eighty one. There's gotta be another one. Damn. Oh, For, well, first title. First title, people last st- title. I like to celebrate the amnesty that day. Game amnesty him and uh, Vanessa's anniversary. See, I was, like, you know, it's funny. I was, I was thinking that. I was like, okay, whatever. Until we get there, like other basketball things before we go to that. Colorado one. day. <laughs> that, you know, that's a lot like that's as just as popular oh as Groundhog's Day. <laughs> that, one, that one doesn't get enough love. Uh, Colorado should be a day. National, should be a thought national Colorado day. day was April Fool's Day. <laughs> Oh, I know the Colorado. Actually, you know what? The the Colorado Day is like Christopher Columbus Day because not everyone wants to celebrate. It. <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire today. It's like Christmas because not everybody believes. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is the greatest Mamba Day ever. Mamba Day, <gasps> Mamba Day. <laughs> but like Kobe, like it's so funny because like I remember someone said that on Twitter. Like, okay, there's too many days for Kobe. I was like, no, there isn't. There's not enough. Like you can we can think of everything. You know, the release of his shoes. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. When he hurt his ankle or his ankle, his Achilles. Achilles, that was a pretty but, big day. Yeah, that was a huge day. Like, there's moments in time where it's like we could timestamp it, like you know, those times. So, there's no other player like that. I mean, do people kind of like bring stuff up with Jordan? Like, not really, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they like in, in the documentary Last Dance, like they made a pretty oh, yeah. big deal of like the two letter word or the two words that he said, "I'm back." Yeah, and, like, okay. In yeah. that letter, it had the date on it, right? Uh, Fifty five in the garden. Yeah. Fifty five in the garden. Um. Oh, uh, wait, what was that the Boston Garden? In, in Madison Square. Yeah. And then and then you could say the 63 in the, in the Boston Garden. That that first round against the Celtics, even though he went down that game, that was a pretty, like, impressive performance by young Michael. But there's more But there's more holidays that Kobe has. So. Yeah, it, like, there's more. Kobe does get celebrated more, even though I, it could be because of the product that Jordan created. Because, yeah. like, Jordan was a product, the first celebrity that went into the world the first famous athlete that went to the world as a celebrity. And then I guess like Kobe got the benefits of it. 
to where we're like, oh, this is important. On this day in history, Kobe. On this day, Kobe. So Yeah, Jordan, he blazed that trail. Like, you know, Little Richard was a trailblazer of rock and roll. Michael, uh, almost said Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan uh, trailblazed, you know, athletes like Kobe, LeBron, you know, KD. Uh, so, yeah, you know, no, I, I get it. And what, what did Phil Jackson say? He was like, there's two difference or the difference between Kobe and Michael is Kobe wanted to beat you in a game of basketball whereas like Michael wanted to beat you in everything else. Yeah, that's what it was. It was like something yeah. like that, right? Like, Which it was still it, like it's so petty to me that his one of his goals is just to get his logo on everyone else's like uniform so that way That's my conspiracy. That is Oh, my, okay, that's I, yours. That's I, what you I, created. I created that because okay, Shannon, I'm kidding. Because notice how it's not on every team's jersey. I think like it's just it's on the teams that he owned. Oh, that's right. He owned when he played them. Like he owned like the That's New right, Knicks, because or... some play, yeah, because some NBA teams have the Jordan logo instead of the Nike Swish, right? Right. So that's done on purpose. That has to be done on I, purpose. Like, I noticed that with college teams, too. Like, he did it with the Georgetown Hoyas, which, uh -huh. like, he beat in the national championship. Yeah. Uh, he did it with, well, Illinois, because he gave certain perk. Marquette, it was like, that's such a random Would you team. do something like that? Like, is it like uh, would you put your own headshot at every comedy club you killed? Would I be... A sociopath is what you're saying, <laughs> or like, would I be a narcissist? That that's narcissism, like that to a oh to a T. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like also like the ultimate competitor of him. You could, yeah, it's narcissism. That's <laughs> like with Jordan. It's like king of the hill. It's like I'm putting my flag on your hill. Come and get it. Damn it, Jordan! <laughs> you and the damn logo again. Bull. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> I like I like I do your impression of Hank again. Bull. <laughs> Pretty good. I like it. Mr. Jordan, uh, I came here to sell you propane and propane accessories. <laughs> it, it's filled with hot air, but uh, that's just Scotty Pippen's air. <laughs> have a narrow urethra. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, last part that we wanted to close off of the show with is AD's on the way. <laughs> so the Lakers are playing their last game on the gruesome road trip that they've played. Seven and, games, man. Yeah, seven games. Uh, but hopefully there will be a present awaiting them when they come back home. Ooh, 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 ooh. So Anthony Davis, uh, rumors had it <laughs> late last week that he will be attending the Boston Celtics game where there's not only fans returning to this game oh. this Friday. Uh -huh. Is it Thursday or Friday? I it's think the it's 15th. Today's the 13th. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So on Thursday, April 15th, when the Lakers come back home, they will be greeted by fans. And hopefully in the warm-up line, oh, it'll right. be Anthony Davis joining up, suiting up with the team, and hopefully they'll be playing alongside each other. And I think that's the day they're going to be putting up the banner, right? They'll be also – no, that's in May. In that's, May, okay. That's in May. Okay. Ah, but it's, it's also going to be on the Celtics Day, isn't it, though? They play the Celtics Celtics Day. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, yeah. They're <laughs> playing the Boston Celtics, which would have been perfect because it's like, hey, look, we yeah. got 17. <laughs> We're tied with you. You can't say that anymore <laughs> because both of us are now. How cool! I, the, 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 if anything, when we won, that was like the biggest thing for me was the fact that we tied them up. Because I was, I just remember that 2010 finals where I was just like, okay, you know, if we want to won, if we want to won in 2008, we would we would have been in the lead. So would you? Yeah. Mm, no, you would have been a, a, a few more. No, well, yeah. well, 2010, now. 2010, 2010, you would have. I'm sorry, I meant uh, no. Well, eight, no, well, because no. So if you won in 2008, you would have been catching up to them. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. I meant yeah. to say that, like, we would be, because uh, we would be in the. 2010 would have been the finger to them because it would have been well, like we, we got 17. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just talking, I'm talking about number of championships though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. So you're saying in 2008. So I'm just going like at that time, the they had 16. The Lakers had 14. I want to say? Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, that's right, because they got – okay, yeah, never mind. That's... So the Lakers, if they would have won 2008, 2009, 2010, 16, 17, and then it would have okay, been pretty yeah. much the middle finger. Yeah, never mind. I can't add. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm stupid, ladies and gentlemen. There's a disclaimer. Oh, <laughs> God damn it, Mark. You don't know how to how to add and subtract. <laughs> but boy, it right. Um, <laughs> so Anthony Davis is hopefully coming back from his Achilles injury. Uh, luckily, it wasn't a tear. It was just like an Achilles and tendonitis. <sighs> So uh, oh, that's why the Lakers took extra precaution yeah. because, well, I also feel as if they were trying to push him out of the court and then, like, fans were like, what the hell are you thinking? I see. I uh, I don't know. I I think he – well, it kind of feels like he just wanted to play through it and everyone else is telling him to chill. Well, at least is that what you feel? Or no? Yeah. Oh, now there's a report. Okay, this is cool. Los Angeles Lakers' Anthony Davis could return in 10 to 14 days with LeBron James close behind. It's oh, like, all right, dude, so you're taking extra rest now? That, which is fine. Well, 
We need to start winning these games, though. <laughs> That's the only thing I kind of like, hey. I think but, the reason why the Lakers are winning games now is, or I'm sorry, the reason why the timetable keeps on getting pushed behind is because the Lakers are winning games now. Because Yeah, well, that's what, well, yeah, if it's, I, if we were in danger of dropping out, then I if, I think they would speed it up a little bit faster. But since we're like coasting, when we were coasting, now we're like, okay, but now, now that they're kind of, everything's kind of coming together again, I feel like, but, I, but I'm with it. As long as we can kind of still keep winning, keep LeBron and keep AD uh, resting and healing up, and that's it because we're going we're gonna to need that for the playoffs. Yeah, let me like look over the next couple of games. Uh, so the Lakers okay, play the back. Celtics. Then they play the Jazz, Oof. the Western Conference best team. Actually, the NBA's best team yeah. on Saturday, April 17th. Then the Jazz again on Monday, April 19th. So back-to-back oh, -back games. Yeah. Lakers versus Mavericks. They go on a road trip to Dallas for two nights on Thursday. And then on Saturday of April 22nd and April 24th. Then the Lakers go to Magic in Orlando. Okay, that's a win. Uh, the Washington Wizards. That's that depends uh. on – that depends if Westbrook – and or Beal are in the lineup, and then the Sacramento Kings again on April thirtieth to close out the month. Yeah, there, there's there's some wins in there that I I would feel are, are you know going to be not concrete, but well doable. But like but, okay, <sighs> so Anthony Davis, LeBron James are not coming back for another week or two, right? Yeah. You got Utah Jazz, Boston definitely in that mix with the D Dallas Mavericks. It's like damn it, dude. Like uh, it kind of makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes me nervous just a little bit just a little bit because i'm just like because we would need one of those guys back in order for me to be a feel confident enough for us to get like at least two out of the three but right now i'm like maybe one out of those three yeah uh, and that's just me being real let me just play devil's advocate let me look at portland trailblazers ding, 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 ding. <laughs> uh, the portland trailblazers schedule uh the portland trailblazers play the celtics tonight mm-hmm then the Portland Trail Blazers play the San Antonio Spurs, who should not be yeah, taken. Yeah, no, yeah. They should not be taken uh, with a grain of salt. They're, they're actually pretty good. Um, Trail Blazers versus the Hornets. Uh, Trail Blazers versus the Clippers. Mm -hmm. Nuggets, uh, who are mm -hmm. without Jamal Murray. Memphis Grizzlies, who are trying to stay in the picture. They're just above 500. The Grizzlies again. Pacers and Grizzlies. Mm. And Nets. Okay, so there's there's some hope. I think the Trailblazers could drop a couple of games coming up because that's tough to competition. Yeah, especially for them. And like I said, for us, it's just ah, I just. But I mean, but I don't know if it, just as long as we stay stay at this course that we're at right now. You know, lose, if we lose a couple, at least try to win like the next like, or if we lose one, win the next two kind of thing. Right. So as long as we keep that pace, we should be okay.